Hey everyone, Cody here. And today I want to answer a question that I've been getting a lot uh, is, do I varnish my paintings? And I've been replying individually to people on you know, each video or even on Instagram and stuff like that. Uh, just trying to answer this one question. And I figured, you know what, maybe it'd just be easier for me to answer it in a video. And then I can just link to the video. So really uh, there are two main types of varnish um, there are a couple of other different ones but the biggest two that most people use for paintings is uh, gloss and matte okay and so that is most likely really the only big difference is how the painting looks at the end once you put on that varnish um, I believe there's a couple of other ones that are more sealant than they are for the aesthetic part of it um, but varnish is mostly not only to protect the painting, but also to give it a specific look. Okay, so I'll talk about kind of two different things. First off, the, the two different types of varnish. Um, I guess three things. One, the two types. Two, what I've used and what's available. And three, the, the types of paintings that I would recommend it for or not to use um, on. Okay, so the first two are uh, the gloss, you know, the, the varnish itself, right? Uh, should you use gloss or should you use matte? Well, gloss and matte are just basically what they sound like. It's the aesthetic of the painting itself. You know, do you want it to have a flat look or do you want it to have a glossy look? And it's almost like the paint itself, right? Is the paint kind of a matte paint or is it a gloss paint? So, uh, ultimately, the whether you use gloss or matte kind of comes down to your preference but one thing i would kind of um challenge you to think about if you've never used really any varnish and you're kind of considering using varnish and you don't know which one to go uh anytime i've used a varnish i always went for gloss because i really want that look right i want it to to catch the light and and to pull those colors however if you're doing framed works, sometimes it is actually better to use matte uh, varnish because matte varnish actually doesn't reflect as much light. And the one problem I've had with doing paintings on paper is that uh, it will be like a shiny painting inside the glass. So not only will glass reflect light, but also the painting itself. So that sometimes has been a challenge for me. But in most cases, anytime I've used a varnish, it was a gloss varnish, okay? And the, the varnish is both for the aesthetic of it, but also to protect the painting itself um, so that it, you know, it keeps the dust off the actual paint uh, and the surface. Uh, it also just, you know, helps keep moisture and stuff like that off of it. So, so varnish can be good. Again, we're going to talk about it more um, on, on the ones I recommend it for. Okay, so gloss or matte really comes down to kind of what the look that you're going for. I would say if you've never used either, try them both. Um, you know, either try them on uh, two similar paintings or two separate paintings. Uh, but I would most likely recommend gloss. I just, I like that really gloss, that really shiny look. I want it to catch people's eyes. So that's just me personally, okay? So that is, you know, the two types of varnish there are i think a couple of others but those are really the ones that people are asking about the second um part i want to kind of move into is the 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 brand now i've really only used liquitex because when i first started and i was using a lot of uh varnish i just used liquitex because it was available but uh, other brands like golden and, and windsor noon i believe they have uh gloss available and I would recommend trying to get the best gloss that you can because the how well it shines or the coverage of that gloss does differ with the quality of the gloss. So if you get a higher quality, um, if you get a higher quality varnish, it's going to go further, but it also is going to give it kind of a, a little bit more protection i think i feel like the cheaper varnishes are a little washed down uh so they're they're, they're a little thinner um so you don't get quite as good a coverage and they also just aren't as uh full i don't know how to really explain it it's almost like the difference between buying cheap acrylic paint and you know good quality uh acrylic paint you know a lot of you just have to think that you, you get what you you get what you pay for so a lot of cheaper 
materials have more filler or binders or, or things like that, right? You, you get what you pay for. So it's just not as good. But if that's all you can get, Liquitex can work. So I'm not bashing them. I'm not saying they're bad. It's just our higher quality uh, varnishes out there. Okay, but I have used Liquitex and it was fine. I mean, I, I did have to do two coats. So that is what I would say. Um, so I've used Liquitex. Again, there are higher quality brands, but if that's, you know, what is available to you, like they sell it at Michael's. So when I, you know, I, I get canvases there and I, when I first started and I was using more acrylic, you know, Michael's is where I went all the time. So it is available there, but if you can get some higher quality varnish, if you're going to use varnish, probably go the route of getting some better varnish. Um, and again, whether you use gloss or matte kind of comes down to, and it, I think there is semi-gloss as well. So it really kind of comes down to your preference uh, and the type of work that you're you're doing. So if you're doing abstract, you may go more glossy, but if you're going, you know, kind of realist paintings, you may go more matte because you don't necessarily want the light on there. You want people to see the whole image. So gloss, I feel like pulls out certain colors more, kind of like this painting behind me, right? So the glossy part, Right here, all of this red, you know, pulls out more light than the turquoise. So also what varnish does that I will give it props for is it evens out the uh, shine or the matte of that painting. I have had paintings using gloss enamel where the light differentiation was different on different parts of the painting. So what I mean by that is that, you know, you would have a whole painting, but part of maybe the top or the bottom or whatever would be shinier than some other part of the painting. And it had to do with maybe how thick the part the paint was in that area, or maybe it settled uh, differently in one area than another, or maybe the colors, um, there was just, you know, there was different colors in the paintings and some of the colors just absorb more light than others. Um, a lot of different reasons. But one thing I can say about varnish is that it does help even out those areas so by using a varnish you can either kind of lower that you know the gloss or you can kind of raise it up but it does help even out the tone of it so that if you put a varnish over uh, the whole painting at least a couple of coats especially it helps even out the the color of the painting so if you have a flat painting and that's not really an issue um, that you may not even need varnish. I know artists that use acrylic or oil and they don't varnish their paintings at all because they want it to look the way that it is. Perfectly acceptable. But varnish does help uh, even out the, you know, the shine of a, of a piece. So if you're dealing with issues with that, it can help with that. So I can give it, uh, you know, that kind of that props. Uh, lastly, let's talk about the type of paintings I have used varnish on or tend to use varnish on. Again, one one thing is uneven paintings. I have used it for paintings that were uneven, uh, une unevenly colored that, or let's say unevenly shiny, that I used to help kind of uh, tone that out across the whole painting. I have done that. But mostly what I have used varnish for is acrylic paintings. And here's why. Acrylic tends to be kind of flat when colored. So if you look at this this painting right here. It's very flat, okay? There's no part of it that shines. You can see the light reflecting off of, you know, the whole piece when I hold it up, but there's there's no real shine here. Now, let's contrast that to a gloss enamel painting. You, you see how the, the light shines off of it, right? I'm holding them at the same angle under the same light, and you can see the difference between a gloss painting and a matte painting. Now, here's the thing. In a frame, this actually looks really good. A matte painting in a glass frame looks great. Uh, by itself, it looks kind of boring. So that is my point. Um, so coming back to the types of paintings that I use varnish for. I use them for acrylic paintings um, unless they're going in a frame anyway. Then I, then I just won't even use uh, varnish because I really don't need to. When it's in the frame, I almost like or prefer a matted painting. Now, acrylic paint tends to be more matte. It's not glossy most of the time unless you add additives or use a very specific brand. Uh, it's not very glossy. It's very flat and very kind of matte looking already. So 
if you want, if you're doing a regular size painting and you use acrylic, but you really want it to catch the light, then yes, you would use varnish. Now, you don't have to use varnish on your paintings. You don't, even if you use acrylic or oil, you don't have to varnish them. Varnish can just help pre preserve or protect the painting. So it can help, but it's not required. I mean, there's nobody saying you have to varnish your paintings. It can just help. Uh, even out color volumes and protect the painting. So it's not required. Again, I know artists that just don't use any varnish at all. They just paint the painting and then they move on. Uh, but then I also know a lot of artists that do use varnish because, again, it helps kind of even out the shine and to highlight specific areas of the painting or something like that. So so for acrylic, uh, if, it was, if it was by itself, if it was a regular size painting by itself, Generally, yes, if it was a full acrylic painting, I would use glossy varnish to make it stand out. Uh, if it's in a frame, generally, I won't put any varnish on it because one, it's going to be protected by the glass, but two, I kind of want it to look matte because the glass is going to already be reflected. Okay, now let's talk about gloss and now. And, and for oil, I don't really work with oil, so I couldn't say. Oil, I think it's a little shinier than acrylic. Um, Again, your call, you could do it, just kind of follow the same rule. Maybe not put it on framed paintings, but large paintings if you really want to highlight uh, those colors. Again, your call. Lastly, for gloss and animal paintings, I don't varnish them. So it's, it's really that simple. Um, I don't varnish them if they're going in a frame. I don't varnish them if they're a large painting like this. I just don't varnish at all with gloss enamel because gloss enamel is one already inherently shiny. You saw the difference. Those two paintings, the one that was acrylic was very matte and the one that was gloss enamel, super shiny because it's literally gloss enamel. So I don't varnish those paintings at all. And, uh, you know, whether it's a large one, a small one, whatever, because it's already glossy. It already has that on there. And it's house paint. So it being house paint, it's already protective because it's already meant to last at least 30 years. So really, honestly, I don't need to add varnish to it because it's already protective in nature. So, uh, so that's it. I mean, that's hopefully that helps. I mean, the type of varnish you use is really your call, depends on what you're trying to do. Um, whether you need to use it or not is, is a call, a judgment call on your part. Um, again, I, I have used it for acrylic, but it depends on the situation. Don't know about oil, and I never uh, put it on gloss enamel. So hopefully that answered that question fully and completely. If you have any other questions, you can leave them in the comment section, and I'll answer them when I can. Um, but hopefully that you know helps people try to figure out whether or not they should or need to varnish and, and what kind to use. Uh, but that's it. I will catch you guys in another video. Take care. God bless. Bye guys.